Although prostitution is illegal in most places, it does not mean that it is illegal all over the world. There are several countries that have legalized prostitution for the safety and well-being of women. Through the eyes of Germans, legalizing sex for sale was a good option. As it states in German culture, the sex industry and prostitution in Germany, it is estimated that 1.2 million German men use prostitutes each year, and in the industry has an annual turnover of 1.6 U.S. billion dollars. Prostitution was legalized in Germany in 2002. Eaton, 2006. The idea was to remove the industry from criminal hands and thus reduce the illegal trafficking of women, make working conditions safer, and reduce stigma. Prostitutes are now able to join unions and get health insurance, but many sex workers prefer not to register with authorities due to discrimination. Registered prostitutes are regularly given free mandatory health checks and it is also possible for customers to write up contracts with sex workers in order to protect them in case of the desired services not being rendered. Unfortunately, there are legal loopholes, meaning that prostitutes can do anything if the client fails to pay up after having sex, Eaton 2006. Officials have unveiled a meter that prostitutes must pay roughly $8 into each night to get a nightly permit to practice the world's or oldest profession. Freelance sex workers get an automated ticket, much like a parking slip, according to, Doc, to Der Spiegel, Wilson, 2011. A spokesman for the German Association of Cities and Municipalities told the New York Times he expects other German cities to follow in Bond's footsteps as the nation's 11,000 municipalities are struggling with the combined $11 billion debt. Well, enough about Germany. Let's talk about Australia. Australia is another country where prostitution is legal in some areas. Australia even has a union for sex workers called the Scarlet Alliance. As the article, The Scarlet Alliance State, it is the National Peak Sex Worker Organization of Australia that was formed in 1989. The Scarlet Alliance Australian Sex Workers Association, through its objectives, policies, and programs, aims to achieve equality, social, legal, political, cultural, and economic justice for past and present workers in the sex industry in order for sex workers to be self-determining agents, building their own alliances, and choosing where and how they work as outlined in its mission statement, Scarlet Alliance Australian 2010. So now that we know more about the rights in Australia, let's talk a little bit more about Switzerland. As the states in Swiss sex and prostitution, Switzerland legalized prostitution in 1992, but it was not until 1998 that the first legal brothel called Petite Flora was opened in Zurich. In the intervening years, similar attempts had been stopped by local campaigners. People, who ha people were happy to legalize prostitution, but no one wanted to live next to a brothel. Petite Flora, meaning small flower, had 30 rooms, which it rented out to prostitutes by the day. Nowadays, prostitutes pay value-added tax, and some even take credit cards. Adverts can be found in the back of tabloid newspapers. Campaigners who wanted prostitution to stay illegal claim that the number of prostitutes in Switzerland has increased since the law changed, and in 1999, the Zurich-based newspaper Blick claimed that Switzerland had the highest density of brothels in all of Europe, Eaton 2006. Since I've talked about places all over the world, I would like to end with our very own Nevada. Although sex for sale is not legal in Las Vegas, it is legal in some surrounding counties. According to Prostitution in Nevada, there are about 30 legal brothels operating in Nevada at the moment, and the majority of them are in the northern part of the state near Reno and Carson City. Knight County, located just north of Las Vegas, has fewer than 50,000 residents, as well as legal brothels, so this is where you want to head if you don't want to drive for a whole day. Hagen, no date. The article also states that Knight County's largest city of Pahrump is home of two of the mo most famous legal brothels in Nevada. This is about 60 miles northwest of Las Vegas, but Armagosa Valley, Beatty, Crystal, Death Valley Junction, and Scotty's Junction are also small towns with legal brothels. If you'd like to check out your options beyond Parham, this is a place to go. Hagen, no date. In case anyone is interested in paying for sex, these were a few places where customers will get 
will not get into any legal trouble and avoid getting caught and going to jail. As I come to a close, I would like to end the slideshow with a couple of great examples of men, of people who are probably very familiar with where to hire prostitutes. We all know the Senator, John Edwards, and of course, Mr. Charlie, I love prostitute Sheen. Charlie Sheen is known for hiring multiple prostitutes at a time. This goes to show that not only low-income people pay for sex. With that said, now you know that there are several places around the world, including in the United States, where prostitution isn't illegal and you won't end up.